don't. I swear, like, I, I know she's got mental health issues. Yay! <laughs> um, I know she's got mental health problems, but um, I was reading this thing, and it's like M Munchausen, something like that. And it's basically where you, like, I don't think fake an illness, but that's kind of what it is. Um, and some of the, like, things that she displays are alarmingly similar. To, um, one of the things I was, like, shocked about was she did a live stream i think it was on her youtube and someone sent me like some little bits from it and i was like right so she was moaning because her doctor would only give her or i think i think it started with when she was inpatient the consultant that she saw um oh, that's a, ficti a factitious disorder that was it um and like that in itself is an issue like i'm not saying that but i think that like, the medication thing really weirds me out because I think, I like, she's partly addicted. Well, partly. I think she's addicted to meds. It's as simple as that. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name's Lydia. My mental health videos here on YouTube pretty much every day. And that's a lot, <laughs> you know? Over the last few months, you guys have seen me getting harassed, bullied, store, hospitalised, attacked. Pretty much every other word you could use to describe what it's like to be bullied, basically. People have been trying to bully me off the platform the entire summer. Like, full on. The entire summer. And that's not okay. So all I've come here to say, literally to this spot, I got on a train to do this. If you don't like me, you are under no obligation to follow me or subscribe to me. If I have blocked you, do not make another account to see what I post. You've been blocked for a reason and that reason should be respected. I've been, uh, sorry, um, I've been, I've replaced reports previously about a certain group of people who have been harassing me and they're continuing to do so and it, it's just getting ridiculous. Right, so I'm just making the borough aware that I'm now going to make an appointment for a, uh, the appointment card to come out to you to get this reported and then... Okay, the next availability we have is tomorrow evening. Oh. Uh, the evening appointments are um, at 8pm or 9pm, unless you want to do something during the daytime. I can do any time, I'm free all the time. So tomorrow is good, yeah? Yeah. The police are going to be here in less than an hour and this is a very real and raw thing that is going on don't take the whole big camera setup thing as other than me making a joke of a situation you have no idea how much this has impacted in my life it almost cost me my life earlier this month and now i'm taking action i'm documenting this experience because i know many of you have been afraid to speak out against people and stand up for yourself and getting the police involved because it's a long and it is a traumatic process but sometimes you just have to do it I swear, like, I, I know she's got mental health issues. Yay! <laughs> um, I know she's got mental health problems, but um, I was reading this thing and it's like Munchausen, something like that. And it's basically where you, like, I don't think fake an illness, but that's kind of what it is. Um, and some of the, like, things that she displays are alarmingly similar. To, um, one of the things I was, like, shocked about was she did a live stream i think it was on her youtube and someone sent me like some little bits from it and i was like right so she was moaning because her doctor would only give her 
Well, I think I, I think it started with when she was inpatient, the consultant that she saw, um, and that's a, ficti a factitious disorder, that was it. Um, and like, that in itself is an issue. Like, I'm not saying that, but I think that like the medication thing really weirds me out because I think that like she's partly addicted, well, partly, I think she's addicted to meds, it's as simple as that. What's been happening? Basically, on the mind, people have just been going on and on and on. And last night, um, Stephanie, my client girl, decided that she wanted to make a live stream basically happen absolutely everything has been done. Still up, or is it being like. I'm not on her account. She's not with her life. I'm just never gonna understand or comprehend the stupidity of people who don't like someone, which is fine. You don't have to like me. No one's making you watch what I do. If you don't like what I say and what I do, it's there's a really simple concept. Yeah. Just yeah. don't follow me. <laughs> How complicated is that? What she's done that constitutes an offence of me. So what's happened since this other report you made? She did a live stream last night and, and she was like she just looked into everything about her face because I thought I was going to go and kill myself, I should just do it. Um, it's a girl called Smith. And what did the messages say? Or well, what it's, it, re the most recent thing is a 50 minute live stream. And what's she stating then? What's she oh, she's, ri she's ripped everything I've said and done to pieces, told me that I'm a drug addict, even though I'm, that's a whole other thing, but she's just. She's making people hate me. And I've tried blocking her, and then she comes back with a new account. So you have got police coming out to you today at eight o'clock this evening, okay? Because that's all I would be able to do anyway is book an appointment. So I can see that the appointment's already booked, and we will be coming out to you. So if you keep all of the information, have you snapped it? I, I can't. It's a live stream. Okay. And it's over, like, it's nearly an hour long, I can't sit and record it. <laughs> I'm so done with her. I'm so done with Stephanie and her fucking drama. <laughs> Why can't she just leave me the fuck alone? I feel so fucking pointless. <laughs> She's been trying to deal with this since fucking May. Or was it all over? I made one fucking mistake! <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm not trying to bully her. I'm not trying to do this. I'm not doing that. That's all she has done. That is all her account is about. And I am so done pretending that it's okay. It's not. Anyone who supports that, anyone who. The fact that she's getting people to do it as well. And what are they saying? Just the same, like, oh, you should just not do this, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do this. And then it's like, well, there's enough players like, well, you're right where you belong. And it's like. And that, uh, I haven't seen the Facebook page. Yeah, I've seen her Facebook page. Yeah, I've seen her the realization before that how many things can one person have on the street? Oh, that's why it all started about because I made friends with someone who had a past the police that I didn't know about or went public, and I just immediately 
cut off the connection and that's what started out. I'm going to try and give you some perspective if nothing else I can give you, okay? 200, yeah? 200 people at 11.3 thousand. No, but you got like a, over 11 thousand, right? And of that, less than 1% of our asses. That's better ratios than I get to people walking down the street. Name call him. Like, it's not okay. What she's done that constitutes an offence of me. I'll go back. I'll update the report that's on there. I'm going to create another report for you. Do you know what one of those is? It's whenever someone's got any issues or has an issue or issues and we can get contact with them, we create them. And we can ask for help for them. Would you like that? Yeah. So I might put a marker on there for to help you. I'm going to leave it now. If you think you're going to do anything, call us first. Or call an ambulance or call someone. Or call the crisis center. What's the way that I got arrested for? What, for calling us? Yeah. Arrested? On what basis? That basically can call us high enough. Okay, because even I did call the wall. Call an ambulance if you want, or call, call the crisis team. It's going to be your best help because they're the ones you can actually help. Call Have you taken your meds today? I don't Have you taken any of your Lorazepam today? How many of those you have done? Oh. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna head. Like I said, I'll do the updates, do the murder report. I'll mark it up that you'd like some help. So if you need any help, you might even let me, you've got home help team. You've got all that right. You take care of yourself again. Okay? Like I said, you've got the numbers if you need us. Oh yeah, I can't get out, can I? It's all swipe cards. Yeah, it's fine. They don't trust us with anything. I've not seen a report that you was a suspect for anything. Can't you just leave me the fuck alone? That's why I get for trusting people. This is why I don't trust people. Because you know what? I trusted someone who was like, oh yeah, yeah no, 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 it'll be fine, it'll be fine, you know? She, like, and even though I fucking like, everything, I'm just waiting for the next thing to fucking hit me. My question is if I walk away from here, are you going to be alright tonight? That's what worries me. 